Hey guys, how's it going? Hope everybody is doing well out there. So if you have a tendency to uh, run Windows unlicensed or without a key, uh, this video is definitely for you because today's video is sponsored by yourcdkeys.com. So if we jump over to yourcdkeys.com, we can see that this is a great resource for getting inexpensive, officially licensed keys for things like Steam, Origin, Uplay, PlayStation, PC, Microsoft keys, those sorts of things. Uh, you can always go through here, uh, find what they've currently got uh, for new products coming soon, hot games, daily deals, uh, and other things that you may like based on uh, what they've currently got on sale. But of course, this video is more specifically geared towards Windows 10. So let me show you how you can get an authentic Windows 10 Pro key really, really inexpensively. So here we are on the Microsoft Windows 10 Pro OEM CD key global page on your CDs or your cdkeys.com. And right here, you can see that uh, the current price is $20.05. Normally these are going for $58.11, but if you use the uh, coupon code that's in the description down below, you'll get it even cheaper. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click right here where it says buy now. And right here, uh, there's an option to put in a, a promotion key and be sure to grab this from the description down below. We're gonna go ahead and paste that in there and click apply. And just like that, we saved $4.61. Of course, that's US dollars. And below that, our total amount due for a Windows 10 Pro key is $15.44. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on submit order. Uh, right here, it gives us several different ways uh, that we can check out. So I'm gonna select PayPal here. I'm gonna click pay now. So I'll go ahead and uh, check out. All right, so here we go. Your order has been created successfully and your one-time payment depends, or time depends on mode of payment. So we'll give this a minute and then we'll go check my email and make sure that that key came through. A few moments later. Okay, so here we are literally just a couple of minutes later. Uh, and right here, we can see that my order has been completed and I have the option to view keys and codes right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. Uh, down here, I can click on uh, get the key. And of course, that'll all be blurred out there, but I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. Then I'm gonna come over to here. I've got a Windows 10 install that I just set up this morning, uh, specifically for this video. But uh, what I'm gonna do is come down into here. In fact, you know what? I'll show you how to get to here. Uh, this is just File Explorer that I clicked from right down here in the bottom. I'm gonna right click on uh, this PC, go to Properties, and then right here, Change Product Key or Upgrade Your Edition of Windows. So I'll click on that. I'm going to activate Windows now. I'm gonna change uh, the product key right here. And then again, this will be blurred out, but this is the key uh, that I received. Okay, so now I've got my key entered and I'll click next. Okay, so I'll go ahead and click on activate. All right, Windows is activated and it says we've activated this copy of Windows. So that's a really good sign here. So what we wanna do next though, is make sure that it is a good solid permanent key. So what we'll do, we'll come down to here, we'll click right there, we'll type in CMD like so. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in slmgr.bbs space slash XPR, whoops, XPR. Right there, Windows uh, Professional Edition. This machine is permanently activated and that cost me 15 bucks to get a genuine Windows 10 professional key from yourcds.com. Also, be sure to check out their back to school tech sales event from August 5th until September 1st for even bigger discounts than you would normally receive from yourcds.com. I will have a link to that in the description down below as well. So there you go, guys. There's a great way to get a, an authentic Windows 10 key for your machine to get ready for Windows 11 when it comes out. Uh, if you've got any questions or comments, definitely leave those in the comment section down below. I'll be happy to answer any of those the best I can. Uh, and with all of that being said, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. So as always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support. And I'll talk to you in the next video.